you guys uh, don't mind the buzzing, my air conditioner is on, but we're gonna make a really cute um, crop top and booty short set out of this super adorable pastel rib knit fabric. Um, I'm realizing that I don't own a lot of comfy summer clothing and I want more, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'm actually gonna use a pair of shorts that fit real nice that I actually really love uh, to make my pattern off of and I'm also going to be using a cropped top that I really like to base that pattern off of as well, although we may creatively enhance it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. All right, so this is the top we're gonna walk off work off of. Um, I'm pretty much just going to cut around the top, um, leaving some room for my seams. Uh, and I think I'm going to lengthen it a little bit because I'm not going to put an elastic band at the bottom like this one because this is definitely more of a sports bra style. I want it to be just loose and comfy, so we're going to extend it a little bit. Uh, yeah. And I might change up the back a bit to make it, um, eraser back. And these are my Riverdale practice uniform shorts which I'm going to use to base my shorts pattern off of just because I really like the dolphin cut here. Uh, yeah so we're gonna do that. Right, so we have the front and back. We have strips to do the binding around the arms and the neck holes and decorative binding on the shorts. We have waistbands, we have the back part of the shorts, and we have the front part of the shorts. So step one is obviously going to be to stitch the top uh, together at the sides and at the top, and then I'll be right back. Right, so we have the top sewn together. I actually uh, did just that one went wonky, but I did a bit of a straight stitch just so that on the inside my seam would lay flat. Uh, here again, um, I'm actually going with gray stitching because I think it's going to give it some detail uh, and it'll look cute. So now we are going to do the bindings, which is what this is for. So basically it's going to get stitched along here, and then we're gonna fold it over and onto the inside. Fold it over onto the inside and then it will look like that, stitched down. Ignore my nasty nails, I just got home from work. And this is what the top looks like finished. I am just leaving the bottom unfinished because I like the way it looks. Um, and then this is what the top looks like with the binding, nice and clean. And now we're gonna move on to the shorts. The first thing we're gonna do here is stitch the front to the back uh, at the crotch seams. So it's gonna be stitching each piece mm -hmm. down here and then opening them up and stitching them together here. And then we will come back. All right, so now we have the two front pieces sewn the two back pieces sewn together and then they are sewn together in the crotch. Now for the piping to look super cute. Piping trim bias. Whatever you want to call it. We are going to go down the side of the curve around the bottom of the leg and back up stopping where the waistband connects and that's what we're going to do with the trim the same way we did with the tank top. Right, so now we have our lovely biased edging well, looks nice and pretty so we're gonna put the waistband on and when I attach the waistband we're just gonna bring ignore the threads we're going to cross these over just a little bit just a little bit so they overlap like so and I'm not even gonna stitch them down. I'm actually just going to attach the waistband and then they're gonna be cute little sneaky flat bits. And this is the waistband. So we're going to stitch the waistband into a tube and then it's gonna get folded in half and stitched along the top of the shorts like so. So that when I flip it up, it looks like this. And we're not doing elastic inside the shorts. We're just gonna let the knit do its natural stretch thing. This is the finished shorts. Waistband is on. I did end up putting some elastic in because this stretches very easily. And so it doesn't have a lot of hold. Then we have our little flappy flappy boys. And now I guess we try it on. Mm. 
So if you don't like the open flap effect, you can actually just stitch down the sides to close them, but I like it. Okay, so obviously, you know, overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's super comfy. Uh, it's going to be really nice to just like sit around the house in and for playing video games and it's really, really comfy. Uh, so I think I need more knit fabrics so I can do it again. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in me attempting to actually make a pattern for it, let me know and I'll see what I can do about making a pattern and getting it up somewhere for you. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Should I, should I make more of these? Are they cute? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.